हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू प्लानिंग पी सिक्स होप यू आर डूइंग वेल टुडे वी आर हेयर द टॉपिक ऑफ ग्लोबल चेंज एक्चुअली दिस ऑप्शन इज लोकेटेड इन आवर सॉफ्टवेयर इन टूल्स दिस इज कॉल्ड ग्लोबल चेंज टूल वेन एवर यू फाइंड यूर सेल्फ मेकिंग अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ चेंजेस टू एक्टिविटीज रिसोर्सेज रिसोर्स असाइनमेंट कैलेंडर्स इन प्रेमोग्राफी सिक्स देर इज एन आल्टरनेटिव एज वी आर यूजिंग इन एक्सेल एंड वर्ड माइक्रोज टू चेंज टू मैनी वैल्यूज इन वन फिल्टर विद वन फिल्टर और वन ऑप्शन सो दिस ऑप्शन प्रेमोवीरा इज प्रोवाइडिंग दिस ऑप्शन टू चेंज द वैल्यूज in any option calendar somewhere column if you are adding new columns and you have to decide to set the filters then you can able find the that suppose there is no uh, column for the total budget units then you can able to do that as well with this global change tool so this is always you to create global change definitions that will modify data based upon a filter for example when you are doing for a major project and there are many similar resources and resource assignment that need to be increased or reduced if there are duration there is need to be reduce or increase some activities then this tool enables you to make the global adjustment p6 global change feature enables you to select the activity activity resource assignment project expenses parameters and too many other options let move forward to the pramography 6 software and discuss one by one you can understand that is actually i have prepared that uh, a short uh, project uh, just copy paste the three wbss with the same activities with the same duration but we will modify how it will works on this option is located here in the tools under the tools as we described the financial periods and stored performance period performance now we have to go for the global change you see this option is located and you have that option you can add by just whenever this is if you want to add a new then we will add we will add new then delete is this one modify if you want to the previously then you have to click modify if you copy then you will copy and paste here paste option is here import and export if you want to import and export like uh, primavera plf files and xer files you have to you are you can import this file as a pcf file anywhere and you can import again into any other system and apply that global change to any other project as well so cancel it now we will add a new new global change here this wizard will appear here here is a select the subject area you have to select the carefully if you are going to change activity then activity resource assignment and project as expenses first of all we will do activities the similar way you can do after the understanding this uh, concept very clear then you will able to do so first of all we will change the activity ids maybe you can say ids or activity ids whatever you will write the name here so here we have the three option if if means you have to select the area all of the following suppose that you have to select here the value then else we will use this two if there is any filter you can have to apply here in else so we will select here suppose we are going to change for any specific wbs okay close it first and close it expand one this wbs name is tank foundation works one and activity id is you can change any of column activity id is construction 2010 so go here global change add new and here we will write ids where wbs name when you click on wbs whatever variance if you want to variance you have these all fields to 
you are able to choose any of the following all of the following any of the following if there is a specific any of the following then specific other is here you can suppose variance v you can x e expenses something like that you have to type first word so wbs name here is is contains does not contain ends equals not equal start with so equal whatever you want you have selected here is equal ends with or not equal you can we will select here equal for example so here we will give the value wbs name suppose there is a thanks thank foundation foundation works and one see this wbs it stands foundation one so here is between that is space so then what is the then so we will here the select the parameter here what we will do select this one and click on add if there is no then we have to add delete you can delete cut copy paste as usual as we are using so activity id here is also too many options you can see here activity id leveling priority activity names activity status activity types act actual finish start you will able to change whenever whatever you will filter you will apply here first of all we will change activity id is and or is you can is equal to parameter value operator you have to select here the operator custom somewhere or and activity id what is you can add by here operator value so here if we say in the custom option enter a text suppose and operator just close that one maybe we can say epc p6 something parameter value then we have to give again or you can say c o n and here we have to give an other activity parameter suppose we say activity id and here if something is else we have to put here then we will change after the clicking change you can see here we give the activity id was this one field activity id old value is this one and new value is this one here this is a our log file change report this is primavera is ask, asking if you want to save this file you can save here one thing thing is important if you commit changes you will be unable to to undo the you are changed so if you are not comfortable you have first you have to create a copy of your project if you are comfortable then you can change from here so if we cancel here then you can or you can okay i am comfortable with this change would you like to save the log file yes okay if yes okay give the location otherwise cancel it so changes was committed and now you can see here the values are changed here construction construction and this one whatever you want to change the value you can you will able to give okay after the changing you can save okay and close this one now you can see here if you see this one and this one ids are changed it is for one wbs if you want to change the entire project then any of the following you will not select you just say the activity id here and in global change suppose this one we want to modify it here all of the following is equal to value or any of the following is that activity id suppose our project name you can say this one global change under the global change you want to whatever the option you can change from here civil construction works 
whatever cost is you have to give the value here if you are changing the wbss then you have to give the option for the wbs secondly we can change our calendar as well just prepare a new one close it and new one add new one here suppose in activities calendar where you can say here calendar is equal under whatever you want to is not equal to just say value give the value somewhere where from the calendar you can say whatever the project is 7 by okay here high value no need to give so here we will add a one parameter is calendar we want to change the calendar and uh, parameter value if you want to give here suppose we can say 6 by 24 okay okay now it will change the calendar for the entire project before and now it will show us there is if there is assigned calendar you can see here the old value was six days and now new value is this one and activity field the same log file is here report is here if you save to like file cancel changes after the commit changes you will be unable to undo your project so yes commit changes yes no i am comfortable with that okay now this calendar changes has a calendar has been changed for this one if we close and see the calendar if i go here and now you can see here for the all activities our calendar has been if you see here the activity calendar has been changed for the all activities so the third one is just say original duration we want to change it the original duration so we will go here and global change and here new add a new you can prepare too many as well suppose here i can write original duration original duration is less than or say less than suppose less than or greater than whatever not equal to suppose say is greater than or equivalent so just say 10 days here we have to add as we did before so here what we will do do the calendar select selection and here what we will do change the calendar any of calendar so 7 by 24 we are now selecting then change here there is no so cancel changes and now we will go and change the calendar if something is because there is no value that's why if we have added wrongly then you, we will able to delete it okay change it there is no because there is no increment then change yes so here what we will do just say is less than fifteen days and here maybe we can change six twenty four and this one just see this and change if there is any it will be now you can see here old values and new values are similar they are changing to the calendar through the our duration commit changes no okay changes were done before if you comparison on it okay or close it okay now before the duration was 120 days for the this one now it's reduced to 101 this is how the global change works in primavera p6 now we will do i have already prepared a tutorial on uh, youtube it is up uploaded i will show you how the global change working in uh, by adding any extra column you can change any of column duration start finish dates for the activities if the activity start date is similar you can say activity start is equal to this one then you have to change the activity start from this to this 
so move to the google this is our channel view here we write global and search it now you can see this is our tutorial that total budgeted units how we can add the total budgeted units in Primavera p6 column so there is also we apply the filter hopefully this concept is clear now again remember when you commit the global change option when you commit changes then after the committing you will be unable to undo it is better before changing the or applying the global change you have to copy the project if you forget something then you will have a copy separate copy of your project and you can able to do again and again hopefully this tutorial is helpful for you people please like share and comment on our tutorials also visit our website www.planningp6.com and if you have any query about this topic feel free to email us at info at the rate of planning p6.com or contact us through comments or our whatsapp thanks for watching allah hafiz